Hi, I'm Stephen from ESLHipHop.com and we're going to get started with our free English lesson. We do these every Saturday morning. Um, well, it's Saturday morning here in California. I don't know where you are, but we do them every uh, Saturday morning, uh, 8 a.m. California time, and that is uh, minus 7 uh, GMT or UTC time. So if you need help converting uh, that to your local uh, time zone, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, today, um, we're starting a little late, uh, just waiting for the class to uh, arrive and show up, so uh, sorry if you were waiting for us. Um, we're just going to get started, and uh, they're going to get um, here whenever they get here. Um, classes are only 30 minutes, and like I said, they're free. Uh, all you need is a Google Plus account, a microphone, and a webcam to participate, but you don't need any of those things to uh, watch the live stream. All you have to do is just go to YouTube, or you can go to eslhiphop.com and watch the live stream uh, directly from there. Now, uh, uh, normally there's some students uh, who are uh, with us during the class, and they can speak and participate. Uh, nobody's shown up yet, so I'm just going to get started uh, and uh, and uh, get the lesson started. So uh, today's topic is uh, is about food and, and about especially uh, eating habits. Um, there's a lot of food trends uh, I think that are happening nowadays. Uh, some people are vegetarian and you might have heard that before. Um, uh, some people are vegetarian. A new trend that is happening now, it's happened uh, in recent years is veganism and a vegan is uh, similar to a vegetarian uh, but they ref uh, refrain from eating all animal products so a vegetarian uh, they don't eat meat uh, no beef no chicken no pork uh, and, and in some cases they don't eat seafood although some vegetarians uh, they uh, they eat fish and seafood um, so there's different varieties but a vegan will not eat uh, anything that came from an animal that includes seafood it includes milk it includes honey it includes uh, it, it includes uh, even using leather in some cases some vegans will not use leather because it's skin from an animal uh, of course on the completely opposite side of that spectrum, uh, we have the uh, the meat lovers. So uh, personally, um, I will admit with you, I, I'll talk about myself. Uh, I am a meat lover. Um, I love beef, especially. I love having a steak, uh, but I can also see the value of um, of being a vegetarian and uh, and eating more healthy. I think that could uh, uh, that could be really valuable to us. I found a rap song just about this. It's called um, I Used to Be a Vegan. I Used to Be a Vegan. And it's uh, by this rapper. He's uh, independent. He's underground. And, uh, and he's not a mainstream or very popular rapper. But his name is The Grouch. The Grouch. Uh, if somebody is a grouch, that means they're kind of grumpy and upset all of the time. Uh, but that's what his name is. His name is The Grouch. And he has this song called, I Used to Be a Vegan. So if you're watching uh, the live stream, uh, I'm going to play the YouTube video. And you should be able to see the video on your screen. If you don't see the video on your screen, then I want you to uh, search for it. It's called, I Used to Be a Vegan. I Used to Be a Vegan. It's on YouTube, but you should be able to play it and view it um, with us right here. So I'm going to load up the video, but I want you to think about can can you be a vegan or do you think you can be a vegetarian? Would that be something difficult to do or would that uh, would it be something that you're willing to try? And if you're if you're not with us right now and you still want to participate you can still uh, message me on Facebook and on Twitter and you can uh, give me your answer uh, do you want to be a vegetarian or do you want to be a vegan so I'm gonna load up the, the video in a moment and I'm gonna be waiting uh, for you in just a in just a few minutes here and I'm getting some questions about starting
but we're going to keep it moving, keep it moving here, and okay. I am going to search for the video. And the great part about this video is that it has uh, the lyrics on the screen. So even if it's too fast for you, uh, then you can uh, then you can read while you listen at the same time. Hello. Hello. Hi, it's Ethan. Hi, who's with us? It's Elena from Spain. Oh, Elena from Spain. How are you? What time is it over there now? I know I'm a slave, but I was trying to to join you. And hey. I was, it was really really hard. I didn't I find the hangout. I didn't find anything. Hey. I was lost. No worries, no worries about it. Um, if this isn't school. Uh, there's no detention. You don't have to clean the boards uh, after class. So, so don't worry about it. It's your first time. So, um, w I started without you, uh, and I hope that's okay. Uh, but we were. Um, but I was just giving an introduction about um, about the topic today, about the uh, veganism, vegetarianism, and. Uh, and about um, and about some other things too. And before I'm going to replay the song for everybody watching at home. But uh, are you? Do you know what those things are? Do you know what a vegan or what a vegetarian is? Hi. Yeah. I hear myself. <laughs> I know, I know. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Introduction. Gone. <laughs> hey, all good? Yeah. Hello, Elena, are you there? Yeah, yeah, you were talking about... So, uh, Elena, do you want to turn your camera on? Do you have a camera? Hello, Elena. Uh-oh. So I don't know where uh, I don't know where Elena's been, but we're going to keep going. And uh, okay, so we're having some technical difficulties with uh, some of our viewers, and that's okay. Uh, I don't know where Elena's been, but uh, she just joined the class. And uh, whenever she comes back, uh, uh, she we're going to discuss uh, the song for a little bit. So I'm going to replay the song. Maybe this has given you a chance. Uh, to find it on YouTube. I want you to go to YouTube right now if you're watching at home and I want you to find uh, the video. I want you to find I used to be a vegan by the grouch and uh, and I wish there were a way to share that link with you uh, uh, on the hangout. Uh, 
uh, but we're going to just play it right now. I used to be a vegan, V-E-G-A-N, and we're going to listen to the song right now. Elena, can you hear me again? Yes, I am hearing you all the time. Okay, good. But I have to see. It's a technical problem. I don't know what's going on. So Elena, uh, I think I think I hear my uh, I, I hear my uh, my past self from the past. Is it possible to wear headphones or to wear? Um, oh, and she's gone. So we're going to uh, play the music uh, right now, people, and then I want to talk about some of the vocabulary and then some of the grammar here. So let's get started. We'll replay the song again. Okay, so that was the, oh, there she is. Hi, Elena. So that was the song right there, uh, I Used to Be a Vegan by the Grouch. Now, uh, Elena, um, I, I couldn't hear you uh, in, the, in the beginning of the class, but I had a couple of questions for you. So uh, are, are you ready? Um, I, I, want to, I want to ask you, do you know what a vegetarian and what a vegan is? Uh, I think I do. What, uh, so I think many people know what a vegetarian is. Um, what can vegetarians eat? What can't they eat? Hey, vegetarians can't eat any product. Okay, so that was the, oh, there she is. Hi, Elena. So that was the song right there. Uh, I Why used to be a by the Grouch. Now, uh, Elena, uh, I, I couldn't hear you uh, in, the, in the beginning of the class, but I had a couple I don't know. So uh, are, are you ready? Um, can you hear me? Uh, I can hear you, but sometimes, um, but sometimes, uh, like from one minute or two minutes ago, uh, I, I hear what I'm saying. Do you have um, yeah. Do you have other yeah. uh, windows that are open? Yeah. No, it's, it's gone. I stopped it. The vegetarian can't eat any meat or or seafood, and um, I think vegan is more about a philosophy of life. They cannot eat anything from from any animals or 
um, well, they have to eat organic food all time, like organic or vegan burgers or something really special, and they have to eat vitamins like the B12 or something to supply or um, to to get that vitamin you get from the meat. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good point, and and I like that word that you said uh, that that veganism is maybe like a philosophy or like a lifestyle, and uh, and I think a lot of vegans uh, they they do support a, a very healthy lifestyle, and uh, and it's not just their diet, but the, the products and the clothes that they wear. So you're you're right. A vegan is like a vegetarian. So uh, they don't have any meat or, or any fish or seafood, but a vegan will also avoid uh, any other products uh, by um, uh, by animals. So there's no milk, uh, there's no um, there's no uh, honey uh, from from bees or anything like that. There's no uh, leather uh, because leather comes from uh, from the skin of animals. So, uh, so for a lot of people, they choose that lifestyle, uh, but it can be uh, it can be somewhat restrictive. Do you know any people who are vegetarian and uh, or who are vegan? Do you know anybody like that in Spain? Yes, I do. There is a friend now in my city in Bilbao, the north of Spain, and they, there are a lot of people who fight against the bullfighting, and go to jail because of that. And they they have different shops for organic food, which is much more expensive, to be honest. And they they are like really close to each other because they have to feel and they have to uh, believe they they follow that philosophy. So they they are really it's it's nowadays it's really trendy. trendy. Mm. But uh, you said it, it didn't used to be friendly. Why would people uh, be unfriendly to the uh, vegetarians and to the vegans? No, they are friendly. The, the only thing is that they have to follow the philosophy and they can't admit any other different things. They are kind of intolerant. Oh, okay, I see. But. Um, so living in Spain, I imagine it's got to be difficult to be a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, I, I've never been to Spain. I really want to go and visit. But uh, okay. but, but I know that in Spain, they're, they're very famous for the uh, Spanish paella, which uh, obviously has a lot of meat and a lot of seafood. So it, it must be very difficult to um, uh, to enjoy uh, you know the entire cuisine of Spain if you're a vegetarian or vegan. But I might be wrong. Is it possible to enjoy Spain if you're uh, if you have a special uh, lifestyle or a different diet than uh, that doesn't include meat and seafood? Of course, please. Uh, you have different type of um, cultures in Spain. Imagine we have five different official languages. Mm -hmm. So uh, in Valencia they eat paella, all that Mediterranean style. But in, in where I live we don't eat paella. That's not really famous. Uh, my my place is famous for very good gastronomy, like fish, seafood, and elaborated food, which contains meat and fish and vegetables and everything together. And for example, in the south of Spain, they are very famous not because of the paella, but because of the fried seafood. It is much fried. And then uh, seafood in, in Galicia, and and uh, paella is just in Valencia. Nobody eats paella, and paella was because mm -hmm. in the ship ages ago when they went to Rome to to, to deal with people and the, all the markets. They they put all together the rice with everything that they had in, on the boat. Mm -hmm. So they they found fish, seafood, meat, and chorizo, uh, everything from uh, pork from from every animal. So they put it together, and that was like to survive, the the to be, not to be hungry, but it, but it wasn't a, a proper meal. Now it's typical for. 
in that way. But you can you can you can eat lettuce, you can eat vegetables. So it's because we grow everything. So mm. it's uh, really easy. Maybe if you live in Ireland, where you cannot find even oranges unless they import oranges. So it's like kind of difficult. Like half potato and, and meat, very good meat and potato. But here in Spain, the climate, the weather allows us to grow everything. So it's really easy. Yeah, you, you make a good point. Um, uh, I'm from Louisiana, which is the uh, which is a southern state uh, in America, and uh, it's deep in the south. It's near the uh, Gulf of Mexico, uh, very hot and uh, and maybe similar weather to Spain. But um, but when people first uh, settled there and lived there, uh, yeah, very poor people uh, didn't have much food, and so they had to use the food around them uh, in order to survive, so that they uh, wouldn't go hungry. And uh, and because of that, because they were close to many rivers and into the Gulf of Mexico, and there were a lot of uh, swamps, uh, southern Louisiana. Uh, became very famous for um, for its seafood, and and there's also uh, influences from uh, the African countries, uh, from the Caribbean, um, and from the Spanish uh, as well. Uh, there were Spanish settlers in, in the southern United States, um, so we get a lot of her food culture uh, from Spain uh, too. So, um, but but I think in uh, in in a lot of countries, it's really interesting that their their modern cuisine. It was based on what was available in the past, and in the past it was only for survival. But today, you know, many people really enjoy it and love it, and uh, and it's a, a very special part uh, of the culture. And I think that's really interesting. It's not just Spain and Louisiana, but uh, but you know, it's it's many countries all over the world like that too. Yeah, and that links to those. Uh, people who live here to different cultures and religions that they can't eat meat. They they have to eat, for example, a lamb only, or mm. uh, have, or there are a lot of uh, people from North Africa who came here before, and now we live all together. So they they need to eat also vegetables and different dishes. But it's true that we have a very good gastronomy here in, in where, where I live and they elaborate a pincho, which is like a tapa. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, you can have a glass of wine and then a, a pincho and then another glass of wine and a, another pincho and then move to the next bar and then have another pincho, a glass of wine and socialize. So it's more about socializing, but those pinchos are full of um, Products from the animals, so it's uh, not not for vegan. You know, uh, you, you make uh, Spain sound very appealing, and uh, I know that's a, an easy thing to do. Uh, but uh, the penta and the glass of wine—that sounds incredible. <laughs> the, the the glass of wine and the pinto. I will write it for you. It's a p i n t x o. And it's a uh, Basque from the Basque culture. The oh, Basque okay. So the Basque uh, is that in the north? Yeah, it's where I live and where I come from. Uh, and uh, and I think Basque people that they're very proud uh, to be from Basque. Uh, would yeah, you say you that's true? <laughs> you can see. <laughs> <laughs> I had I had many students from the Basque region and uh, and all very proud. Uh, yeah, some of my favorite groups to uh, to work with. Um, so uh, yeah, that's uh, that's amazing. Uh, I really want to go. Yeah, but, uh, you can. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, it's, uh, you can come over and and I I'll, I'll show you. Uh, it's it's great and the people at the, at first they are very um, uh, reticent. But okay. then, then it's uh, it's really like uh, on it. Mm. Um, so yeah, it sounds incredible. I, well, uh, yeah, I definitely want to go and uh, and yeah, visit you. Try some of the food. It, it won't be vegan or vegetarian, but that's okay with me. Yeah. Now, uh, the class is it's only thirty minutes. 
and uh, we're going to end in about five or ten minutes uh, right here. But I had a couple of more questions, and then I wanted to uh, talk about uh, some of the vocabulary in the song. So in the song, um, he, uh, I think a lot of people, when they hear vegan and vegetarian, they think that's healthy. And they think, you know, it's a very positive and a very healthy lifestyle. Um, do, you, do you think there are any advantages to being a vegetarian or a vegan? Are, are there any positive or any um, advantages uh, that, might, uh, that might make my life better? Can you think of anything like that? Can I answer? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think you can get sick. Oh, no, sorry. You can lose weight. Yeah, a lot of people, they, uh, they do it to, to lose weight. And, uh, uh, of course, there's fewer calories in, in fruit and vegetables. You can eat, um, you know, anything that you want, you know, uh, all day if it's fruit and vegetables. Uh, so, uh, so that's a good point. You know, um, if you're overweight or if you have um, if you have uh, uh, some some sort of medical condition uh, like diabetes or, or heart disease, uh, a lot of doctors uh, might recommend a, a a vegetarian diet or or a low fat diet where you um, you cut back on on a lot of the meat uh, that you eat. Uh, so, I think that's one very good advantage. Uh, that's a great idea. And um, what about disadvantages? A lot of people, uh, you know, you, you can tell them, oh, it's very healthy. You know, don't you want to be healthier and, uh, and have a better, you know, uh, uh, stronger life? And they say, yeah, of course, but uh, I still love meat. Uh, can you think of um, any disadvantages why uh, somebody might not want to become a vegan or vegetarian? Growth. Singer say something about um, they you know he doesn't like to uh, keep to a label. Mm. Like that. Yeah, uh, some think. some people don't like labels. Uh, yeah, exactly. And and I don't know what the attitude uh, is in Spain or in Europe, but uh, sometimes um, a vegan or a vegetarian. Um, it can be a, a negative label in America. In California, it, you know, it's very popular. Uh, there, there's many far farms that people grow, you know, a lot of fruit and vegetables. So here it's, it's, it's kind of fashionable and trendy. And, and sometimes uh, people might even consider it uh, like a sexy lifestyle. If you're vegan or vegetarian, then, then you're a hip and cool person. It, it's, a, it's a very cool thing to be. Uh, but in other parts of America, uh, especially in the South and, and maybe even in the Midwest, um, it, it's kind of a negative uh, a thing. And so, uh, so some people they they don't want to be a vegan, uh, not because um, not because they really love meat and they they keep, they want to keep eating it every day. Um, but some people, they, I think, they might avoid being a vegan or vegetarian because. Uh, they don't want uh, to have a, a possibly negative label um, on them, and, um, and so I, I think that's interesting that uh, that people have um, you know different attitudes to diet. Um, have you ever heard of a situation like that where maybe somebody they couldn't make friends, or uh, everybody made fun of them or teased them because uh, because of their special diet? No. No, the other way around. No. Oh, okay. It's, it's cool. It's cool. Really cool. Those people are very cool. Now that's a good point too. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it's the meat eaters, the meat lovers. They make fun of the vegans and vegetarians. Other times, though, it's the opposite. Uh, the vegan and vegetarian, they, uh, uh, they, they're, um, I guess, criticizing the meat lovers and uh, and, and maybe uh, 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 blaming them for you know a lot of problems and things like that. It's hard to tell you know who's right and who's wrong. Uh, but you know, it's really interesting that people. 
they, they take food uh, so personally and, and so seriously. It, it's only food, uh, but um, but but sometimes it can it can start an argument or uh, a disagreement, uh, something like that. And uh, uh, yeah, it, 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 I think food should be something you know enjoyable. Uh, something that brings people together. Uh, sometimes it can divide people too. Uh, don't you think that's weird? Exactly. No, I think that some uh, vegans don't respect uh, the equals. So people, people like us, don't respect another opinion while they are respecting uh, a, a, an animal more than us. So mm. I can't accept the same thing that I can't accept how people are like having a lot of problems with, with, with they because the lack of food or the, the lack of jobs or the situations and they adore the dogs with, uh, with those things here uh, with diamonds and stupid things so it's something that you want to um, make yourself different mm -hmm. or, and you don't know how I don't accept that. It's a, a really, if you have, if you uh, value more uh, an animal than a person, then that's your housemate, for example. Mm -hmm. That 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 you know, in unbearable, <laughs> unbearable, unbearable. Yeah, I think I think most um, most people they're moderate, uh, and you know um. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not a 100% vegetarian. Uh, I. Th I think maybe I'll eat meat. Uh, you know, two or three days a week uh, because I need the energy. Uh, I'm such a small, skinny guy. If I eat only <laughs> fruit and vegetables, I'll always be tired and I have headaches. Um, so I, I'm like a lazy vegetarian. Uh, maybe like uh, three or four days a week, no meat. But the other days, I gotta eat. But um, but but my attitude is um, it, it's your body, and it's your choice. You can you can put in anything inside of your body. Um, so so I think my position is uh, kind of in the middle. It's moderate, and and I've met a lot of people who are also very moderate. Uh, but you're right too um, that there's people uh, who are extreme. Uh, they have extreme points of views, and they're not very accommodating or tolerant of uh, of other different people. And so, um, so you're right. There's some. Um, th there might be some people um, in some organizations mm -hmm. who might value an animal life more than uh, more than a human life. Mm -hmm. And um, in America, we, there's an organization. Um, I think it's worldwide. I think it's international. So maybe you you've heard about it in um, in the uh, in the Spanish news. Um, have you ever heard of a uh, of an organization called PETA, P E T A? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you know Do you know what that stands for, PETA? Uh, the the um, acronym of uh, I know I have no idea. But so it, it's a, you know those okay. yeah the models and those people who are against the the four uh, codes and. Um, yeah. yeah, exactly. So um, it, it's an English acronym. It stands for, um, so it's P-E-T-A, uh, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. And, um, and they, they definitely uh, support and promote vegetarian diets in a vegan diet, uh, but uh, sometimes people criticize this group uh, because they might be too extreme. And you mentioned the fur coats. Um, uh, I remember a story when the some PETA members from this organization were near uh, were near uh, like a, a store or a very expensive uh, shop that sold fur fur coats, and uh, they would uh, pour red paint. Uh, on on any person who wore a, a fur coat, and, and so um, they would do these um, 
they would do these um, uh, like these pranks or these sort of protests where um, they would uh, disrupt uh, maybe a, maybe a square, a public square or like a park, and they would protest against a certain group of people. Uh, uh, who are wearing these uh, f fur coats? So it's not just um, it's not just the food, but it's also uh, a le any animal product. So you know, fur coats and leather. Um, but uh, a lot of people they they argue that yeah, perhaps PETA uh, might be too extreme uh, because they do um, uh, you know a lot of disruptive things and maybe even harmful things uh, no, that, that might hurt people. I prefer that rather than other type of terrorism. <laughs> I do agree with, with those people, really. So you, you can't kill hundreds of... What's the name of that little animal with, with hair to make, to make um, coats? With hair... Uh, hmm. um, See, what does the animal look like? It's like a rat, but longer. Uh, a rat, but it's longer? Yeah. Ooh, uh, ooh uh, a, ch a chinchilla. Well, yeah, could be something like that. I know one well, one guy who went to rescue in Galicia, uh, I don't know, hundreds of those animals who were in cages. And they were they caught them, and they went they were there were the three of them, and they went to jail for I don't know how long. But in jail they asked for vegan food, so they were complaining after uh, finished the the sentence that they didn't have vegan food in jail. So they are really really focused on the cause. Yeah, I, I think we, we have the same uh, the same thing here too, uh, and you, you described it perfectly. It's like a rat, but it's a little bit longer. And um, let me, uh, I can share my my screen with you. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to show you a picture of one. Really, you can, but I'm I'm not seeing you. You know, I've been talking to you, but I can't see you. I don't know why because. Can, can you see my screen now? Your screen. Yeah, do you see my computer instead of my face? I don't see your face. <laughs> Sorry. Uh-oh. So, um, you should, um, let's I see, do you, do you see a picture of an animal on your screen? No. I should. Let's see. That's okay. We're having some technical difficulties, but that's all right. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. So, um, uh, let's see here. All right. So, it's been about uh, 30 minutes, and I have to uh, get going, Elena. But before I go, uh, I mean, do you have any questions, or uh, do you want to listen to the song again? Yes, yeah, the song. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll look. We'll listen to the song again, and uh, th so the title, it's uh, I Used to Be a Vegan, and uh, th th they have a, a little bit of grammar in there, used to, and, and whenever we pronounce it, we like to say uh, used to. Um, can you try saying that, I used to be a vegan? I used to be a vegan? Yeah, perfect. So, uh, why do we use that uh, bit of grammar, used to? Uh, when you saw an action that... Uh it's an habit that took place in the past. Yeah, exactly. So it's a past habit. Um, you did it many times before, uh, but you don't do it any longer. Uh, you stopped doing it. And it has to be a habit. It has to happen uh, many times in the past. So for example, um, I used to smoke cigarettes. Uh, that means you smoked uh, many cigarettes in the past, uh, but then you quit and you don't smoke anymore. If you had one cigarette in your life, uh, that's not really a habit, okay? Uh, one cigarette, uh, you, you tried it, you didn't like it. Uh, so uh, if you smoked a cigarette uh, in your life, one cigarette, uh, two years ago, it doesn't mean you used to smoke cigarettes um, because it's not really a habit. So uh, this, uh, this rapper, this hip-hop artist, uh, he used to be a vegan, 
So does that mean he's a vegan today? No. No. And uh, and based on the title, do you think he likes it or he doesn't like it? He doesn't like it. Yeah, he probably doesn't like it. So we'll listen one more time. And, and as we listen, I want you to pay attention because he gives many reasons why he's not a vegan anymore. And, um, and, uh, and they might be good reasons, they might be bad reasons. Um, and he also lists a lot of food words and things like that. So uh, I want you to listen for a couple of things. Uh, is he, what are his reasons for becoming a, a meat eater again? And then what sort of foods do you hear him mentioning? All right, here we play it. Will you play it yourself? the end of the song right there and he gave a couple of reasons why he stopped being a vegan and uh, and I mentioned one of the reasons before why um, why I have to eat meat sometimes because I'm such a small skinny guy uh, did you hear uh, or notice any reasons why he stopped being a vegan why he used to be a vegan he used to be a vegan because he didn't like hormones and he needs mozzarella and He's not a hater. Yeah, so he, he's not a hater. Um, he's uh, he used to be a vegan because he didn't like the hormones. Uh, that's right. Sometimes in uh, in farms and meat farms, they give hormones to the uh, to the animals so that they can produce more milk or, or more meat. And uh, and he didn't really care for that because he thought uh, it was unhealthy. Okay, so that's not very very. I'm 
I'm sorry. He was a vegan because he didn't like hormones. Yeah, that was one of the reasons. Um, yeah, because in some farms, uh, the right. farmers will um, they'll give uh, hormones to the animals, and um, and it helps them produce like more milk or helps them produce um, you know more meat. Uh, like we give it to cows so that they uh, make more milk, and then some farmers they give hormones to to chickens uh, so that their the chicken breast is like you know fatter and it, it's like more meat uh, to eat so uh, a lot of vegans and vegetarians they say that that's unhealthy uh, because if you if you eat all of these hormones um, some some negative uh, unhealthy side effects uh, uh, might happen mm -hmm. yeah so so he mentioned that he, he didn't like being a vegan um, he mentioned that he used to be a, a vegan, um, and uh, but he's not a vegan anymore because um, he didn't want to be a hater again. So, so you mentioned that word, uh, a hater, somebody who always disapproves and somebody who always criticizes something. So, if you're always uh, saying, "Oh, that's that's so stupid," uh, you, you know, uh, uh, why are you doing that? Then, then you're a hater. And, and in rap music, in hip hop music. Um, that's a negative thing to be. If you're a hater, uh, then uh, then maybe people won't like you because you're always like a negative person. Oh, hello. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, I don't. I'm not really familiarized with the hip hop uh, or music. I only know uh, a couple of bands. But they are from, from Madrid, so. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Well, Elena, um, it, it was a pleasure uh, chatting and meeting with you. Uh, uh, on, uh, I guess it's Saturday <laughs> afternoon for you. It's in the morning for me. So but nice uh, it was a, it was really fun, and uh, and we had some uh, we had some interest from other people, but maybe. Um, uh, but maybe they had some technical difficulties or they couldn't come this morning. So I hope next week we can have uh, more students in the class and, uh, and uh, we, we can hear like different ideas and opinions. But I really enjoyed just working with you. It was a, a really fun one-on-one uh, -on -one kind of a, a conversation that we were having. So I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate it myself. Thanks for your time. Uh, of course. Yeah. And yeah, I'll see you around. And yeah, really happy too. And I'm amazed, amazing that you were at eight o'clock in the morning on a Saturday awake. <laughs> so well, it's like uh, congratulations I, for for I that hard work. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And you <laughs> can. Um, I know you're. I know you're an English teacher in Spain. So. Um, so uh, next week, uh, you know, I, I really love uh, meeting new people. If you want to invite uh, other teachers, or if you want to invite some of your students as well, uh, I would really love that. And uh, it just makes it more fun and interesting when when it's a you know a, a group of people. Um, so yeah, uh, please invite, and uh, that would be uh, really cool. Thank you. I try. Okay. Okay. Well, enjoy the uh, the pinto and the uh, and the glasses of wine tonight. Uh, and maybe I'll get some tapas too. That sounds really good. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Talk yeah. to you later. Bye. Talk to cheers. You. Bye.